brief basically was to look at the ballet of the Raven Girl, um, to look at the story, and then make a character from the story itself. So many of us made ravens, raven girls, raven princess, but all within a, a different aesthetic. Um, there was a book written, like kind of alongside the ballet, which was had these really interesting like illustrations. I can't. It was some kind of weird form of printing. I can't remember how they did it specifically, but they were really interesting. And there was this one drawing of this. It was a raven, like a black raven, and then it had this like red outline of a baby who was like this little weird raven baby girl. I don't know if you know the story, it's a very weird story. <laughs> So I decided to go for like a confused teenager look and teenagers tend to go through like stages in their life, like gothic stages and all these phases. So I went for the more gothic route. Mm -hmm. So that's hence the pleather and it's more distressed and she's going through this confusing time. So that's where I brought my own interpretation into it. There was the main Raven Girl character and then there was the characters of the creatures. So I kind of intertwined the two and I took a bit of inspiration from um, the Raven Girl costume that actually went into the Opera House um, and then uh, combined it with the creams and sort of plastery colours of the creatures to make it more of like a creature for the laboratory. Um, yeah. So I, my kind of inspiration came from one of the lines in the, in the actual book where they talk about they actually chop her arms off and give her wings. It's very graphic, it's much more graphic in the book than it is on stage and the designs weren't originally that kind of graphic. So we kind of worked down that route for my own costume. Um, I just wanted to really focus on something picture based. So I took um, the original picture from the production and um, I was inspired by this. I wanted to reproduce as faithfully as I can the uh, original outfit and maybe bump it up a bit so it becomes more mine. So I've actually got um, pleather for the corset and then that's lined with stretch drill which I've never worked with before as well um, and then I've used a chiffon and a net for the skirt which I sprayed into to distress it slightly and um, this is sort of a, um, a mole hair fabric which is just the binding and then feathers never worked with feathers before which is really interesting um, but they're actually on a trim I was gonna individually sew them on but it worked better just using the trim down the center um, in dance you have to take into consideration a lot more in regards to movement than you normally would because dancers will be doing uh, more grandiose movements than a normal actor so yeah this is the original design from uh, the pictures that we've seen from the show. Mm -hmm. So there's, um, and there's my modification, there's, there's a pleather vest with the decoration and I've added the wings and the collar and then there's the leggings which would have been originally printed into all sorts of swivels but I've done that a bit differently and I've added a bit more meaning to it. There's some samples of the decoration. And then here, so before I've modified the stencil for the leggings, I've done like a life-size one from there. So this is more or less what it would have looked like on the leg. So in total, we have four dancers. Um, that all have four costumes each, or four or five dancers, I believe, actually, that have four, uh, four costumes each. So um, there's about four of us that have had the same dancer. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to um, collaborate our costumes together and they'll all dance in the same space, which will be really lovely.